Libra. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do a bi-weekly for you guys um, for the weeks of September 25th through October 8th, 2017. I just have a lot going on. So I'm going to do a bi-weekly for you guys um, in the Celtic Cross spread. Those of you that are celebrating birthdays, happy, happy birthday to all of you. Um, I'm using the Everyday Witch Tarot for this reading for you guys. So, Libra, I've prayed over your cards for love, wealth, health, happiness for the next two weeks. Those of you that are new, welcome. And thank you guys so much for joining me. And those of you that um, would like a private reading, would like to connect with me on Facebook, Instagram, all the links to everything are always literally right underneath the videos. On my Instagram, I do draw and upload a daily Oracle card message every single day. Just for Instagram, if you guys would like to follow me there, that would be awesome. Okay. Okay, Libra. Okay, nice. At the bottom of the deck, the overall energy, we have the Ten of Cups. So, very nice. So... The Ten of Cups is abundance. It's emotional fulfillment. You know, feeling extremely content and happy. It could also represent family. Some of you could be you know, spending a lot of time with family over the next two weeks. Friends. But, but absolutely being in a really good place emotionally. It's beautiful. Now you start out coming into the week with the Nine of Swords, crossed by the star. So the Nine of Swords, this energy could be that, that mental prison, mental energy, you know, being in the mind. Some of you could be experiencing some anxieties, worries, stress, thinking about something way too much, sleepless nights, losing sleep over this. For some of you, because we have the star crossing, there could be something that you're really wishing for. And there very well, for some of you, could be some anxiety surrounding this. Some of you could be waiting for something. Um, definitely just try to remain positive, keep the faith. Now, the star does represent that optimism, faith, keeping the faith, you know, remaining positive. For some of you, this could actually be the challenge, you know, needing to stay positive, to keep the faith. You know, maybe just try to stay out of your head, you know, because there could be a new beginning or something that you're wishing for, hoping for. Maybe it's just taking its time with coming to fruition. So there, there can be something that you are worried about, maybe in regards to something that you're hoping for, you know, definitely just try to just to, you know, remain positive because we do have this beautiful Ace of Pentacles in your foundation. So we have this solid new beginning, you know, this would, this adds, you know, security, stability to your life. This could have been a new home, a new job, a beautiful new beginning, even a lump sum of money for some of you. For others of you, it could be an inheritance or a situation going on regarding an inheritance. Maybe you're that, that you're waiting on with the Nine of Swords here. Something to do with the home, maybe assets. 
there definitely could be something that you are waiting on with the Nine of Swords here. Something that you're also worried about. With the Queen of Pentacles in the recent past. Um... So if you're in the recent past, there could have been an earth sign person, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. That was very important. And for others of you, it could be your, your energy. You could have been very focused on your finances, your career. Focused on this Ace of Pentacles energy here. Inheritance, a new home, property, assets. So this could have been your energy. Or for some of you, this could have been a person. But what you're what you're thinking about, what I have crowning you is this is the six of pentacles. And this could represent that giving and receiving. Something. So again, maybe you're waiting on receiving something. You're definitely waiting on something. I do feel a strong connection to family here. So I think for a lot of you, this this could have to do with assets and inheritance. You could absolutely be thinking about receiving this. I think that could be also why also why we have this nine of swords energy. Because you know, you're very focused and, and thinking about this. You know, you're in the mind. But, you know, moving into the second week, I do have this page of wands. So this is really exciting news, communication coming your way. You know, some of you, it's very exciting. For others, if this was something that you have been expecting or waiting on, you know, with the Six of Pentacles, I definitely see you receiving this whether it's communication, information that you've been waiting on. I definitely see that coming in for you because how you see yourself is the Six of Wands. Beautiful. So this is you feeling very successful, proud of yourself. You know, the Six of Wands is all about you know, that victory, success. Wonderful energy. For others of you, you could be receiving some sort of award, public recognition in some way. Maybe this is within your career. In your environment, we have the King of Pentacles. You do have a lot of earth energy here. The King of Pentacles is someone who is well off financially. He has a lot of security, that stability, prosperity, abundance. You know, this could have been for some of you an inheritance. For some, you know, some of you, this could have been a legal situation. But other people are viewing you as the King of Pentacles. So maybe this news or communication that you're receiving for some of you, I feel like You've been waiting for this for a long time. And again, that's why we have this Nine of Swords energy. You're, you're, you're coming into the week with this worry, this anxiety. You're worried about this. You know, but the King of Pentacles is financial abundance, success. For some of you, maybe this is you know, getting a new job. This could be an amazing... A position, maybe a position of authority, a higher up. For others of you, I feel like this could definitely be you moving to a new home. You know, because in the hopes and fears, you know, I do have the four of wands. You know, this is this is you know stability. It's what you're hoping for. 
you know, stability, security, could be, you know, a new home. It's what you're hoping for. It could be some of you, you know, hoping to, hoping to move into a new home. With the Page of Wands and the Six of Wands around this, the second week, Definitely, this is happening for some of you. Definitely. And then, you know, you, you do end with the Seven of Swords and Judgment. So, the Seven of Swords... It can represent several different different things, okay? It could be that sneaky energy, someone trying to get away with something. You know, maybe um, trying to get away with something, doing things behind your back. You you can be maybe you know suspecting somebody of something suspicious concerning a situation. Again, this could have been a family situation, maybe assets and inheritance. And then maybe, you know, at the end of the second week, you're most likely finding out, finding this out here. Others of you can be, can be suspecting something. But the Seven of Swords could also be a risky energy. Maybe some of you are taking some sort of risk. you know, with going for something. This could also represent, you know, clarity, finding something out. Some of you could definitely be finding something out around the end of the second week. And for some of you, it could be something that you were suspicious about. So I did pull another card and, it, you know, with judgment... This could represent something legal. So this could have been a legal situation that's been going on for a while. You know, judgment can also represent that judgment call, a decision. So for some of you, this could be you, know, you making a decision to take some kind of, of risk. And then for others of you with the Seven of Swords... The Seven of Swords energy. The, the Seven of Swords sometimes could mean a loss. But with judgment here, if you've been experiencing the Seven of Swords energy in that way, you're definitely rising up from that. You know, judgment is also very much a healing energy. You know, it does represent rebirth. You're rising above the, you know, the difficulties, just a difficult time. And I feel like it's very minor. It's all, you know, it's a healing energy. I do feel for some of you, this has been something that has been ongoing. This isn't something that has, is just happening at the end of the, of the week. You know, for some of you, I feel like this has been something that you've been dealing with for a while now. And with judgment here, I think this is Spirit's way of really showing me that you are, you know, rising above. Rising above this, overcoming this situation, overcoming the Seven of Swords energy. Judgment is also a karmic energy. I am sensing a karmic justice. So if you are someone, if you are someone that lost something or you could have been dealing with some kind of sneaky family situation, I do see you overcoming, rising above, healing, moving forward with your life. You know, you're moving toward your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, your dreams, You're definitely moving forward. 
So overall, I mean, it is going to be an exciting, an exciting two weeks for you guys. Definitely. Let's get um, just a guidance card. Uh, mystical wisdom. Oracle cards. Beautiful cards. We're going to get one of these. We're also going to get a romance angel card. For Libra. Sun, moon, and rising signs. Additional guidance for Libra. All right. That's going to be it. Thank goodness. Oh, that couldn't be a more perfect card. Okay, celebration. Let go and have fun. Beautiful. So, this is, for the next two weeks, it's a time to celebrate some sort of special event, have some fun, get ready to party, celebrate. It could be weddings, graduation, job promotions. I definitely see that for all... For a lot of you, new jobs, assets, this inheritance coming through for you. It's definitely, even with this card, it is, it's, 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 it's a beautiful time to spend time with family. Friends. It is a positive and uplifting environment. You need to let go of the worry, doubt. You know, focus on the abundance that's available to you right now. It's about, you know, enjoying pleasures with your loved ones, you know, family. And look at that. The death card is underneath that. So definitely endings, new beginnings to whatever this situation is. Maybe a Scorpio is involved. But definitely rising above, starting this solid, stable, grounded new beginning. Wow, soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Meeting someone new that is your soulmate. Could be an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, maybe an Aquarius. But overall, guys, really beautiful. Very nice um, two weeks for you guys. All right, Libra, that is all I have for you guys. I hope you guys have a fantastic two weeks. It looks like you guys should. Again, have a beautiful birthday for those of you that are celebrating birthdays. And I will see you guys back here shortly. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.